This Christmas, you might be tempted to ask for the next big video game system, a car, or some other high value item. But will any of these really fulfill your needs? And is Jesus really the best Christmas gift ever? Well, watch this video to the end and find out. Welcome. My name is Trey Murray, and I'm the creator of this YouTube channel, The Only Bible, guiding you to be a better reflection of Jesus Christ. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, I'm going to ask you to go ahead, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell so that you get notified the next time I do a video like this. So what is the best Christmas gift ever? Well, first we need to examine what our needs are. And Paul does an excellent job describing the conditions that we as humans find ourselves in within the book of Romans. We don't like to think of ourselves as bad people, but the Bible says that we are. We tend to judge ourselves based on our motives and judge others based on their actions. Now, Paul says when we judge, we condemn ourselves. Therefore, any one of you who judges is without excuse. For when you judge another, you condemn yourself, since you, the judge, do the same things. We know that God's judgment on those who do such things is based on the truth. Do you really think any one of you who judges those who do such things yet do the same, that you will escape God's judgment? Now we may think as Christians we're better than sinners, but don't fall into that trap. Jews did this and Paul set them straight real quick. God does not play favorites. What then, are we any better? Not at all, for we have previously charged that both Jews and Gentiles are all under sin. As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. So then what is a good person? Well, before you go thinking that you're exempt from that last verse, Paul reiterates it again in verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. So then what is righteousness? Well, in verse 21, Paul explains that righteousness is revealed. Romans 3.21 says, But now, apart from the law, God's righteousness has been revealed, attested by the law and the prophets. He also explains in verses 28 through 30 that righteousness comes by faith, and this is for everyone. Romans 3, 28 through 30 says, For we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Or is God for Jews only? Is he not also for Gentiles? Yes, for Gentiles too, since there is one God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. Paul then warns in verse 31 that faith doesn't cancel the law or the Old Testament, but it upholds the law. Romans 3.31 says, Do we then cancel the law through faith? Absolutely not. On the contrary, we uphold the law. So what is the best Christmas gift ever? Those of you familiar with Romans may have noticed that I've been skipping around. And I'm not doing this to twist the message or to fit something I want to say, but rather hide what I would like to reveal now. But I want to encourage you to go read Romans for yourself. Read everything in context. It's a wonderful book and you will enjoy it. But anyone else that does anything else on YouTube or anywhere else, even if you hear your pastor say it on Sunday morning, I encourage you to go into the text for yourself, read the text for yourself, and know, be able to test whether or not what is being said is truthful. I'm going to skip forward to chapter 5. Even though chapter 3 does deal with this reveal, I think Paul explains more clearly his faith in chapter 5. Romans 5.1 says, Therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is part of the greatest Christmas gift ever, but he is the method by which that gift is delivered. You see, God's grace came by the shedding of Christ's blood on the cross. And in his death, he has provided a path for us back to our creator. And apart from our creator, we can know no happiness, no joy, know anything in life apart from him. Romans 5, 2 through 5. We have also obtained access through him by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in the hope and the glory of God. And not only that, but we rejoice in our afflictions because we know that affliction produces endurance. Endurance produces proven character and proven character produces hope. This hope will not disappoint us because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. So yes, Jesus is the greatest Christmas gift ever, but not because he came down to earth and he taught us how we should live, 
but because he was the method by which our salvation came, because his death on the cross shed the blood that covered our sin, and it provided a path for us back to the Father, because the Father loves us enough to sacrifice his Son on our behalf. And this also created a way for the Holy Spirit to then come and dwell in us until Christ returns. For while we were still helpless, at the appointed moment, Christ died for the ungodly. For rarely will someone die for a just person, though for a good person, perhaps someone might even dare to die. But God proves his own love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, since we have now been declared righteous by his blood, we will be saved through him from wrath. For if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, then how much more, having been reconciled, would we be saved by his life? And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have now received this reconciliation through him. So I encourage you this Christmas to show the same mercy, love, and grace to family, friends, enemies, and even those drivers around you on your morning commute. Yes, that's my struggle. Please pray for me in this. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I want to ask you to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and please share it with your friends and family so that we can all grow in the grace of Christ together. May the Lord, my God, give you grace and peace this Christmas season. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, all. Thank you.